The asteroid space station featured in the second Odyssey developer diary is Freeholm in the Artemis system. We've taken a look around the station as it appears in game right now and compared it with what was shown in the dev diary version of Freeholm and noticed a couple of interesting things that we wanted to share with you. If you enjoyed this video remember to click like and subscribe to the channel to ensure you don't miss any of our future updates. So first and perhaps most obviously there's clearly been significant changes to the lighting system being used by Frontier's venerable Cobra engine. The new version of Freeholm seems much more atmospheric both figuratively and literally. Looking at the comparison screenshots on screen now with the current version obviously being on the right hand side the changes are quite apparent. There's some definite fogging happening between the camera and the distant mail slot entrance and since the videos release the lighting changes have been officially confirmed on a Frontier livestream. We don't yet know specifics of what has changed but it's definitely been ramped up a level over what we have currently. There's another thing to mention here. It might seem obvious but it needs highlighting I think. If the footage we saw is absolutely representative of gameplay then the view from the windows out into the starport is showing a player ship arriving. That's quite important. It means that the view outside the window is what is actually happening in the starport. Bad landings, gunfire, belugas stuck in the mail slot, community events, everything. From our digging around it looks like the station interior layout has been rejigged to accommodate the social space structure that we see in the diary and the vibe we're getting is that the space that we'll get access to on foot is essentially that one building with everything we need being included in it. Here at the pit we're honestly not expecting to be walking around the whole station looking in all the nooks and crannies and getting lost in miles and miles of corridor. It looks to us like the starport interior spaces shown in the video are all essentially connected by a central hall with the various shops, services and social spaces hanging off of that hall. Here at the pit we're guessing that by design leaving your ship in a starport will actually be quite an efficient and streamlined affair and you won't be building up massive muscles in your newly acquired space legs at least not in a starport. Planets of course are an entirely different proposition. In summary we'd suggest setting your expectations for starports at least around that area and then consider anything else we get after that as a bonus. So how do you feel about the station interior access being just a limited space? Were you looking forward to running through the gardens of houses of a habitat ring? Sound off in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.